It's Pocky D. Doing a soapbox of nerd rant. It's gonna be great. So, a lot of you gamers like to buy video games, as we all do. But right now, us gamers, we've been mistreated very, very poorly by our gaming industry. Now you're saying to yourself, Pocky, what part of the gaming industry isn't messing with us right now? And my friends, there are many points that they're messing around with us on. But, the major one, the major one they've been messing with us on is giving us video games that don't work. Okay, I'm gonna ask you this. If you went to a restaurant and they gave you a steak that was still alive, or the mashed potatoes weren't fully cooked, or your car didn't have tires that worked, would you buy it? No. Guess what? You guys, myself included, we keep buying $60 video games and getting games that don't work. The save features don't work, multiplayer doesn't work. I'm looking at you, EA. You keep giving us broken games, but so does Nintendo, so does Ubisoft, so does apparently everyone else. This has become apparently video game standard. Now you're asking yourself, for those who don't know, what broken video games came out last year that justifies Pocky D getting in front of a camera with his messed up hair, ranting about video games? Well, how about SimCity, where you couldn't even get the game, turn on the game and play it? because they had an online feature that required you to be on all the time and run through a server to play a single player game. How about Battlefield 4? That's still to this day, three months after its release, you can't log on and play a game without worrying about crashing. Heck, it's a miracle you can even get into a game. What about some other stuff you're talking about? What about Pokemon? Yeah, Nintendo's even starting to get into this crowd. Apparently the last Pokemon game had a huge issue where if you saved the wrong way, and yeah, apparently there's a wrong way to save, your game would get corrupted and delete all of its data. You had to download a patch. Imagine telling a five-year-old to download a patch and not immediately play the game he's got. Yeah, there's a car trip you want. So, you're asking yourself, self, what can I do about this? I am just a mere consumer who buy games. The answer is very simple. See, gaming companies care about one thing, and that's cash. Cold hard cash, lots of it. So, next time Call of Duty or Battlefield 4, Battlefield 5, and Battlefield 6 happens, don't pre-order it. Don't do it. Hurt their numbers. Because until they give us games that work, we don't buy games. And I'm not telling you not to buy the game at all. I'm encouraging you to do that. Help the developers. Help the dev teams out. Guys who don't make a lot of money and desperately need it. Don't buy it on week one. Don't buy it on day one. Wait a week or two. Wait till you get a press report saying, hey, the game works. That's even better. Because right now, guys, they don't think that, that us buying broken video games matter because they keep getting our money. And if the minute we stop giving them our money, they'll start fixing this problem. And, why, and I mean this. Don't pre-order. Wait a week or two because that's the numbers they care about. The first week or two of games sales is what they look at in stock reports. It's how they judge a game's success or not. And if they have a game that sells, but is not getting the first week numbers because everyone's afraid that these games are broken, they'll start doing something about it. They'll start doing something about it in a real bad way. Also, don't accept early access as an excuse for having a super broken game. Notch and, Notch and them proved that having early access and treating its players with a respect and having them understand and be part of a solution got them a good game. So, what have we learned today in this very important rant? One, I needed to brush my hair. Two, I need more sleep. Three, stop giving video game companies your money over broken video games. This isn't helping us. So, guess what? Next month, there's going to be another rant. Maybe I'll be part of it. I don't know. But next month, stay tuned for another soapbox. Now, I'm going to go get some sleep.